So I'm working on my my monthly report for the workforce development uh, grant that we have coming to Operation Gateway by way of the Workforce Board. And this month we found out that people coming out of prison did not automatically qualify as dislocated workers. And so a dislocated worker is a person who has um, been unemployed for over 13 weeks, or a person who has been laid off from a job or told that the company that they work for was going to be closing soon. So this is a dislocated worker. For the, the part that we were leveraging was the unemployed for 13 weeks piece for the people who were coming home from prison who were wanting to um, you know get a skill or, or get an on-the-job training contract which is one of the, the, the biggest, bigger benefits of the dislocated worker piece for those coming home from prison. And so um, we found out that people coming home from prison didn't automatically qualify under that 13 week unemployment piece. And so um, now, you know, I'm doing this video because I want to give stakeholders and decision makers a, a tangible uh, a tactic and how we can address workforce equity. As it relates to reentry, you know, because many people are talking about what needs to be changed and we're talking about inclusivity, we're talking about economic justice. And, and I really like to give practical ways to, to do something right. I can get people fired up with the speaking engagement, but I really, really like to get people practical uh, ways to address issues. And so one that I want to, to drive the point home on in this video is that we need to figure out as a, as a country this is federal. How do we get people who are coming home from prison qualified as dislocated workers? And this will free up some 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 pathways for for people to have access to those resources for portable credentials or and a portable credentials like, you know, CNA, you know, uh, uh, medical office assistant, CNC machine. And there's a lot of like portable credentials that you can get to go on a resume and where you, and wherever you go, it holds weight. You dig. But the one that gets me the most excited, especially as we talk about the reentry workforce and people going back to work and getting second chance opportunities, is the resource with the on the job training contract. This is when an employer is reimbursed 75 percent of the salary that they pay a person for up to six months. What better way? to get an employer to provide a fair chance than by going to them and talking to them about federal bonding, work opportunities, tax credit, and an on-the-job training contract that can reimburse them 75% of the salary. And let's say the company say, well, we don't, we don't need any money. You know, we don't need the money back. We just want to give people a chance. Well, no, go ahead and take that, take that reimbursement and then reinvest it back into the nonprofit. That's what I would say, because at the nonprofit, we spending money on, you know, resources. You feel me from cell phones, medication, hygiene, linen, uh, transportation, bus passes, you know, um, clothing. And so we're spending money on people. You did Ubers or lifts to church, like for the ones that like to go to church, we've oftentimes used those, those money, the money that comes in from donors for, for that, you know? And so this is a way that that money can come back into the org. If the company is saying that they don't need it, there are ways to use that resource. And so for those who are decision makers, if you're watching this video, I need you to hear it straight from a man who was formerly incarcerated, who has navigated behavioral health, who has navigated the workforce development space. And I know know the resources and I see the, the gaps in services. And this is my recommendation. We're talking about WIOA reauthorization and, and everything. What I'm saying is, is we need to reauthorize that people coming home from the penitentiary qualifies dislocated workers and have money to support them going back into the workforce and count them as a dislocated worker. No matter what their reason for being dislocated, they just got out of the penitentiary. They've been removed from the, the workforce development opportunities. They have been removed from society. And when they come home, they just might be your neighbor. Would you rather have a neighbor who has gainful employment and a skill that is providing a living wage? Or would you rather them have to suffer and be unemployed and go back to their to the to the life of crime, the criminogenics? You choose. Let's reauthorize and let's address access for the returning citizens who is reentering society and reentering the workforce. My name is Change Agent Cooper. I'm not the answer, but I'm for sure the alternative. Bless up.